Meatiest in my messy kitchen, and I'm about to do a bit of a review on a David's Tea called Spiced Apple. So here it is. It's part of David's 24 Days of Tea Advent Calendar, and I'm on day 21. Uh, I wish I got the idea to do this earlier, but we're going to fill up my teaspoon with some of the tea. And we are going to put it into my tea steeping machine. I don't use a tea ball and I don't use tea bags. I'm something of a snob. And we're going to go over to my special tea kettle. All right, the kettle is a Cuisinart and it actually um, has several different temperatures at which you can boil your tea, or boil your water for your tea. And it says, you know, what kind. So you have your delicate teas, green, white, oolong, which is also the same. Or sorry, um, green is also for uh, yerba mate, um, French press, or, you know, near boiling, and then boiling, which is for black tea normally, as well as for fruit infusion tea. And the nice thing about this is that it keeps it warm for a while as well. So we will let this go and uh, have some tea in a little bit. All right, the dishwasher is going, so it's a little bit loud right now, but the dishwasher needs to go. Sorry. And the water has just come to a boil. The kettle came to a beep. And we're just going to pour this into my very well-weathered tea container, hopefully without dropping or spilling anything, specifically on myself, because the water is very, very hot. Okay. And we are going to let this steep for about five minutes. At which point I'm going to put it in my handmade um, clay mug, which is also very, very weathered. It doesn't get washed with soap usually. I give it a little rinse when it's uh, milk, like when milk's been in there, but otherwise not so much. Now, this is a fruit infusion tea, which means that it is very naturally sweet, but it can be a little bit nicer. So what I tend to do with fruit teas is put just the smallest drizzle of agave or sugar in, just a couple little drops, because it helps bring out the natural sweetness of the tea. And uh, yeah, we will let that steep for the five minutes. There it is inside, doing its thing. Uh, the reason why I like this is because it lets the tea leaves expand and you get the full flavor of it. And it's really lovely once you get a chance to actually drink it. Tea is done steeping. We are going to drain it into the cup. The beauty of this is that you just place it right on top of the cup. And there it goes. Wonderful. And here we go, a nice clear tea. You can see the bottom of the mug with, with that. A little bit of light. If there was better light, you'd be able to see it. But it's a beautiful clear tea. Um, it smells amazing. It smells like cinnamon. It smells like spices. It smells like apple. And those are all my favorite things. And we will have a taste in a bit, and I will give my uh, opinion on that. Ingredients of this tea are apple, uh, fig, cinnamon, star anise, chicory, cardamom, cloves, black pepper, and uh, it says natural apple and spice flavoring. Ooh. So we're going to take a little sip of this. It's no longer so hot it's going to scald my mouth and make me want to eat babies. So let's give her a go. It's nice. You can hear my cat in the background yowling because my cat is psychotic. Um, you can taste the cinnamon, I can taste, really taste the star anise, but not as much with the fruit. I can, I, like, it's there, it's a hint there, but it's not as strong as I was hoping. But, all in all, pretty good tea. It smells like Christmas, tastes like Christmas. I think that as soon as it gets a little cooler, I'll be able to taste it a little bit more. So we'll see how it goes. So this is the atheist, godless loving tea, <laughs> just uh, signing out for the day, and I will be back again with more tea and more reviews. Uh, everybody have a great day.